what's your favorite reason for coming to the beach? I'm kind of simple. I love just getting my feet wet like we're doing now. What about you? Oh, I love walking along the coast and seeing all the marine life. We're hoping to spot sea otters, but the poster child of the California coast has gone missing. These adorable marine mammals once rimmed the North Pacific from Japan all the way to Mexico. But their story has changed dramatically, which Wild Kingdom first shared more than 50 years ago. This is the habitat of one of our continent's rarest and most interesting animals, the sea otter. Once, because of extensive fur trapping, they nearly became extinct. Now they are protected and extensive conservation studies continue in an effort to rebuild the depleted population. Of the three types, only the endangered southern sea otter is found in California. In the early 1900s, the southern sea otter only had about 50 left in their natural population. Today, our population of southern sea otters hovers around 3,000. That number has not significantly increased in recent years, and a lot of that is due to geographic constriction. Southern sea otters are now facing new disasters. Their home has been eaten out from underneath them by rampant sea urchins. And they're being attacked by white sharks, a new phenomenon for Monterey Bay, which is a prime sea otter habitat. Marine ecologist Sal Jorgensen surveys the shark numbers to monitor this volatile situation. So we're headed on the, to the southern part of uh, Monterey Bay. This is a very rich feeding area. Our goal here is count how many sharks we see to keep track of you know, the abundance over time. Got a shark. Okay. Yeah. A wave is breaking right over him there. This is a juvenile white shark, which wouldn't normally be found here in the frigid waters of Monterey Bay. But recent warming trends have upended the equation. So, because of the changes in the water temperature, you're seeing more and more juvenile sharks here. Does this affect the outer population at all? Yeah, unfortunately, it's putting two protected species right up against each other. And we have this situation where a white shark, a small white shark, is biting an otter, thinking that it might be a seal or an elephant seal. A seal insulates with blubber. An otter insulates with fur. They have the highest fur count of any mammal, a million hairs per square inch. When they expect a butterball like a seal and they end up with a hairball like an otter, it's a big disappointment for everyone. <laughs> they have powerful teeth, and when they investigate something, even if it's a little nibble, they can cause mortal harm. Down the coast, at the Aquarium of the Pacific in Long Beach, California, wildlife conservationists have stepped in to help this struggling species. Hello. It's so nice to meet you. It's I'm Megan. It's nice to meet you, too. Hi. I honestly cannot wait to see the otters. Yes, I'm so excited to show them to you. We have some fantastic female otters that we're ready for you to meet. Come on back. OK. Welcome to our behind the scenes sea otters. Before we meet our sea otters, we will be putting on our N95 mask. OK, masking up from Mask's here on up. out. I don't see anything yet. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> here it comes. So we Hi. have two of our adult female Whoa. southern sea otters, Millie, and then behind her is Chloe. Wow. Look at them. They're actually a lot bigger than I thought. How much might they weigh? Right now, Millie is weighing about 55 pounds, uh -huh. and then Chloe is a little smaller and a little more average for a female. They eat about 20 to 30 percent of their body weight per day, wow. which is an incredible amount. Do you want to give them a snack? I sure do. It. 